What's good? What's good? It's your guy, EDI, Outlaw Edie. EDI, I mean, Outlaw for Life. And welcome to the first installment of Talk My Truth. Power to you. Powered by EDI, I mean, TV. So look, we're nearing up, coming up on the anniversary of the Machiavelli album. November 5th, 1996, that album came out. Of course, it came out posthumously, as far as Pac is concerned. But I'm sure y'all have heard this before. Some of you have, some of you haven't. If you haven't, it's gonna be the first time you've heard this. This is all facts. One thing about talking my truth, I'm gonna be speaking all facts. If it's my opinion, I'm going to let you know it's my opinion. But for the most part, you can definitely consider this all facts, nonfiction. Now, back to the Machiavelli album. A couple of things that a lot of people don't know. Death Row fucked up the title of the album. They titled it The Don Columinati, The Seven Day Theory. Got that wrong. I guess they was trying to, uh, you know, figure it out. Pop wasn't here, they didn't ask us. But it was Columinati, The Seven Day Theory, by Machiavelli the Don. What well, we called him that, we called him that. <clears throat> of course he called himself that. Machiavelli the Don until I'm gone. So, that's one thing I always wanted to clear up. Another thing, we were supposed to, uh, we shot a shot our parts to the video, the Hail Mary. Whatever the case, that shit came out terrible. The video was terrible, in my opinion. You didn't really get to see our version with us in it. Mostly so that version they put out with the actors, you know what I mean? And, and, and all of that. Again, terrible video, in my opinion. But it is what it is. That's a, another little unknown fact. The major part I want to get into is how that that album was actually Pac's solo album. Because he always felt and maintained to us that he was a member of the Outlaws, of our group. But him being the forward thinker that he was, he said, I'm gonna put my solo album out first then introduce y'all. So, summer 1996, we're working on multiple projects. One Nation, the Outlaw album. That creative spurt gave birth to the Machiavelli project, which was actually completed in three days. Added a few extra days for mixing, mastering. Did a couple of more songs that ended up not making the project but ended up coming out on projects like Still I Rise and some other posthumous releases that came out like Better Days, Are You Still Down? One of my favorite songs that we did for that album that didn't end up making it on that particular album <clears throat> was a song called The Good Die Young that did come out on the Outlaws album um, songs like Just Like Daddy was an, was an outlaw song originally. Came out so good, he decided to keep it for, for the Machiavelli album. And of course, we wasn't mad at that. Why would we be? My verse on Just Like Daddy was based on, you know, what was going on in my life. And somebody who I was seeing at the time. Um, ended up becoming uh, the mother of my children, four of my children, and my eventual ex-wife. So yeah, that's the Machiavelli album. Originally did five million. I'm sure it's more than that now. A lot of people consider that Pac's best album. Tap back in with me and I'll tell you my favorite Pac album. You let me know what your favorite pocket album is in the comments. You dig?
there it is and there it was, man. Outlaw Edie, I'm gone. Talk my truth, Edie I Mean TV. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to get more exclusive content like this. Gone.